There are regular calls for former colonial powers to return things taken from countries they once ruled. Now, personally, I think you should just let things lie. If we're going to start returning things taken from other countries, we'll be here forever. However, this case is different. Buckingham Palace have refused requests to return the body of an Ethiopian prince buried in Windsor Castle. Now, to explain what happened, back in 1868, the then Emperor of Ethiopia wanted an alliance with the UK. He wrote numerous times to Queen Victoria. She never replied. He got frustrated and he took Europeans hostages. That got Queen Victoria's attention. She sent 13,000 troops to retrieve the hostages. And incidentally, Caleb, she sent someone from the British Museum because if you're going to go all that way, you might as well come back with some duty free. <laughs> well, they quickly overpowered the Ethiopian emperor. He preferred to fall on his own sword than be captured. And he still hailed a hero for that decision. Be left behind a wife and child. The British fearing that the wife and child would fall into the emperor's own enemy's hands, they took them back to Britain. The wife died on the way, leaving a seven-year-old prince, El Mehu, as an orphan. Now, Liz, Queen Victoria took a shine to him, paid for his education, looked after him, but at the age of 18, he died of pneumonia and Queen Victoria buried him in Windsor Castle. Now, Ethiopia want this boy's body returned to Ethiopia. Buckingham Palace have said no. I think they should do this. This is different to returning an artefact, some sort of spoil of war. This is a human body that was taken from Ethiopia, a member of the royal family, no less. What would it hurt the Brits to allow this body to be returned and buried in Ethiopia? Well, the palace has already explained this, saying it wouldn't be possible to retrieve his body without disturbing who knows how many other graves. What, what does disturb mean? They're going to move some well, bones to we've do got it? Got to, well, <laughs> he's buried at Windsor, so yeah. there, there is a great deal of people buried there and it's a great honour to be buried there as well. But I just think that the palace knows full well if they honour this request, my goodness, they're going to have they're to be digging up miles of yeah. land in <clears throat> various countries. To, if they were to take responsibility for everyone who had died abroad due to the colonialism of the British Empire, I'm sorry, well, this, there would be massive everybody. holes in every country. This is not everybody. This is a member of the Ethiopian royal it's family. It's the floodgates argument. They know full well. But and if they're it already starts opening with the floodgates, body, they're returning going to... Aboriginal bones to Australia and we don't even know who these Indigenous people no, are. This case the coronation, is a known person. Before the coronation, Charles was being called upon to return all sorts, jewels and crowns, you name it. Can I ask you, James? The, can, you can I, can I ask you? <clears throat> Firstly, uh, I think the bosses out the back must be commissioning uh, history with James McPherson now after your <laughs> performance before. But you say... Well, you need to know the context. Uh, indeed, It's indeed. not just some bones. There's indeed. a story behind it, I, I take the point. But you say, oh, well, you know, what are they disrupting? It's just moving some bones. Why is this fella's bones any more important than the bones of the people who are buried around him? What yeah. Ethiopia is saying is that, well, bugger all the other bones, I don't care who they're from, just disturb <laughs> them, so we can have our bloke back. If they do that, I mean, well, they've got to go and consult the families of everyone else who's buried in there. And Liz is right, it opens up the floodgates mm. to everything under the sun being returned to another country. There will be no British Museum if they have to return <laughs> everything. I'm not suggesting everything. everything. I just think in this instance it would be a wise move. Good they luck, know Charles. they can't make an exception. That's a slippery slope. I'll let King Charles know my thoughts.